One Minute Inspirations, Henry Street Church of Christ. Temptation killed the wildebeest. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God. And you have come to need milk and not solid food. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But solid food belongs to those who are full age, that is, those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 12 to 14, New King James Version. No matter our age, we are constantly learning as children of God. As we learn more and more about God's word, we can see corruption everywhere. It opens our eyes to the many things Satan has influenced that seem small and harmless, but are still spiritual traps. This is because the Bible, over time and based on the efforts we put into study, exposes all of the evil man does. It becomes like a microscope to the eye for the first time. As the microscope exposes microorganisms we cannot see with the natural eye, the Bible exposes microcorruptions not easily apparent without a thorough study of the Bible. This daily Bible study gives us the discernment we need to tell the difference between good and evil in the world not so easily perceived otherwise. This makes temptation easier to avoid because we can see it before it sneaks up on us. It causes us to avoid dangerous situations that would make the temptation much more powerful if we did not know how to detect it. For example, I recently watched crocodiles attack a wildebeest herd at a river on television. One grabbed a wildebeest and took it out to sea. The other animals witnessed this and some of the herd ran away. However, the temptation of the water kept some of the wildebeest at the river's edge to be devoured by more crocodiles. Well, the wise wildebeest saw what happened to the unfortunate ones. They then discerned that there was danger present and fled. The next time they come to a river, they will be careful to drink and look for crocodiles at the same time. If the water is disturbed the next time, they will get away because now they have the discernment to detect the predator as we can detect temptation because the scriptures have given us this discernment. God bless you. Thanks for listening. If you have not made Jesus Christ the head of your life for salvation, don't delay another day. The Bible says that we must obey the gospel, Romans chapter 10, verse 16. This is done by being exposed to, believing, and adhering to the word of God as delivered to us in the New Testament of the Bible. For short, it is called obeying God's plan of salvation. Please see my accompanying video entitled, The Six Things That Save, in order to do so today. You can reach it by going to the YouTube link below or scanning the QR code below with your cell phone. God bless you. Thanks for listening. This is a ministry of the Henry Street Church of Christ, 309 Henry Street, Gadsden, Alabama, USA, 35901, www.henrystreetchurchofchrist.com. Please subscribe to our channel. God bless you.